Hello and welcome everyone! If you don't already know, I'm currently designing my own video game concept to showcase my art, and I'm now making a series on it, talking more about the world and characters in each one, whilst also providing more guidance and tips on how I design them and my thoughts on concept art in general. This video is covering the basic premise of the concept, which my future video series will stem from. I hope you find this video fun and inspiring for any other creatives out there, and let's get started with the story of Half-Light Garden. You play as a botanist named Drew, in the world from our reality, who receives an anonymous letter at his door requesting help to save the sender's garden. Once accepting, Drew is summoned to a beautiful but strange island, surrounded by what looks to be an enormous lake. This place, Drew comes to learn, is called Half-Light Garden, which is in desperate need of his help. This garden is a fabled paradise nestled in between realities. According to legend, it was formed from the chrysalis of a giant butterfly, watched over by two spirits who were rumoured to be incarnations of life and death. The empty shell spread across the ocean of stars to form a beautiful garden, known to only a handful of worlds. This place is a sanctuary for all kinds of plants with magical properties which cannot be found in any other world, being able to thrive under the unique weather patterns and day and night cycle of the garden, leading to rare and unique phenomena in the environment. Although the garden is magical, its nature is delicate and the many ecosystems within must be kept well balanced and cared for. The garden's main caretakers is a family said to be descendants of the first two spirits. They reside on Spirit Hill, the main hub of the garden, each member tasked with a unique role to keep the garden healthy along with the assistance of the other citizens. This thriving land became the birthplace of many other spirits and entities, most of whom made this place their home and worked to keep it healthy. Some, however, agreed to take the garden's many treasures for themselves, proving to be quite a challenge to overcome. To elaborate, the garden has recently been plagued with disconnect and disorder brought about by a forgotten figure known as the King, the ghost of a spirit who ruled the garden long ago. The King wants to celebrate his return with an enormous coronation, with plans of being fully revived and ruler once more of the beautiful garden. To do this, he has cursed the family to do his bidding, turning their powers against the garden and its spirits, leaving disorder in their wake. Only one member of the family remains safe from the curse, and she has requested the assistance of Drew, a botanist, to help keep the garden safe and figure out how to break the curse on her family before the king's big ceremony. Playing as Drew, you explore the land, trying to understand more about the nature of the garden, helping out the spirits to solve problems caused by the king's curse. You will learn more about the magical flora and fauna, utilising your knowledge to revive each member of the family and help them finally defeat the ghost king. So that's my basic premise for the game, the garden being the setting, Drew being the playable character, and the king being the main antagonist and source of conflict. I feel that I have a good foundation for my concept, but there's definitely a lot more to dive in with this, so much I want to explore and develop to create a great portfolio for this world. I'm pretty sure that it will be a good idea to do another video at the end of this series, which I think will be a great way to show how the project has grown from the starting point. I also just want to end with saying that even though I work professionally in character and concept design, doing this sort of presentation and storytelling structure is very new to me, so hopefully I can keep it nicely organised. There's definitely going to be a lot of studying for me alongside, I always feel that I'm never finished with practising. I'll probably be breaking out Blender again to practise some 3D modelling, which I think will come in handy for some prop design. And there's also a lot of unique creature and character design needed, so I'll probably study real life animals and plants to get a good grasp on how to draw my own creations with a better understanding of their structure. I feel that this video game setting has so much potential to explore some really unique concepts and designs, inventive items, and exploring the backstories of interesting characters. It's mostly just a fun project for me to get out of my comfort zone and keep myself motivated to design. Also, I think if I feel confident enough with the story and the characters, I might maybe try and make something like a little comic for it in the future if I have the time. Anyway, thank you so much for joining and I will see you next time as I go deeper into this project.